Good morning, family. This is Miss Norma. Welcome back to me. Amen. Amen. This is our reading for January the 5th, and it's titled, It's Your Decision. And it's from the book, He Knows My Name. Our scripture lesson is Isaiah 54 and verse 2. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you, Lord, so much. Once again, thank you for being able to Return here, Lord God, continue to be our strength, continue to be with me, Lord Jesus. Blessing and healing, Abba Father, in all of our land, and thank you, Lord, once again. Um, it is the almost the end of the first week of a new year, Father. Lord, continue to be our strength and our guide. And the promises or the changes that we said we would make in our lives, Lord, help us to Hold firm and be steadfast. In Jesus' name, amen. It's your decision. Isaiah 54, verse 2, and it reads, Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords and strengthen, strengthen your stakes. Amen. From the moment we open our eyes in the morning, we begin to make decisions. Decision making is not a new thing. We all do it. Everyone who has accepted Jesus Christ as their savior knows the importance of beginning each morning with him. Matthew records, but seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Amen. That's Matthew 6, 33. Yes, this is the secret. Jesus showed us what humanity might become when united by faith with divinity. Our part is to follow his example, decide each day to believe the promises in God's word, and with his help, rise above the circumstances that come our way. Amen. God cannot make decisions for us. We decide what thoughts control our minds, what words are spoken. God wants to bless us each morning. He has promised to do so. His strength is at our disposal. Amen. But we decide whether or not we will accept all he offers. Pay close attention to what you feed your mind. Amen. Are you storing up more positive than negative thoughts? You cannot make a good decision if you feed your mind with negative thoughts. Choose your attitude for the day. Tell yourself, I will enjoy my day. I will be happy. I will smile and be loving. Today, I choose to be content, even if I must face negative circumstances. It's our lives to live a life of abundance in Jesus Christ. Be wise, make good decisions, and do not listen to Satan's lies. Live above life's problems with a positive attitude. Amen. Remember, circumstances should not determine your attitude. Rather, your attitude should determine how you face your future. Amen. We will dis face difficulties every day. God will not always remove them. Instead, he will use them to make us stronger and to bring something new into our lives. By God's grace, we can learn to be grateful for our difficulties. For if we allow it, they will teach us much. Amen. May God help us today to imitate him, leaving in his hands all the details of our life. Let us surrender our decisions at the foot of the cross. Jesus says to us today, Come, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Amen. 
That's Matthew eleven twenty eight. Our story today was written by Teresa Dixon. Amen. Amen. Who, Abba Father, thank you, Lord, for this reading. Thank you, Lord, for turning the light inward to ourselves or facing ourselves in the mirror, Abba Father, and wanting and realizing and maybe knowing for the first time that our best only comes out when we trust you with everything that is before us. The good, the difficult, the, the days when we may want to just scream, Abba Father, or shout, no, not again. Lord, help us to bring those things to you, even when our mind is saying, turn inward against ourselves. Help us, Lord, to release it out to you. Cover us, Lord, with your blanket of grace and mercy. And help us, Lord, give us the mindset to receive it. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessing and healing family. Have a wonderful day. Um, and I don't say that lightly. Whatever I say, I don't say it lightly because I know all of our circumstances can be different. And we all have different trying situations that sometimes we're going through. But as the reading encouraged us, whatever it is, give our day to the Lord. Amen. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Um, this is our reading for excuse me, the fifth um, from Friday. Blessing and healing, family. I'll see you again shortly. Amen. Mwah. This is Miss Norma signing on, off. And I just want you to know we're all pressing on the upward way by his grace. Amen.